Praise be Jesus Christ. As Christians, we're supposed to be living in the glory. We're supposed to be filled with the glory of God. We're supposed to see the glory of God. Of course, this is a grace. Now, seeing the glory of God is recognizing God in the wonders that surround us. To see a beautiful sunset, uh, a contemplative sees that this is more than beautiful and wonderful. This is glorious. In Father Thomas Dubé's book, The Evidential Power of Beauty, he says, glory has been defined as holiness manifest. The, the holiness of God, the reality of God, now we're seeing something of it. And that's why in Psalm 19, it says, the heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament proclaims the works of his hands. When we look at a starlit night, the beautiful stars, we see something of the glory of God if there's an openness in our spirit to the reality of the God who made us. And in Romans, St. Paul says, ever since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what he has made. And so as children of God, as, as spiritual beings, we're supposed to be able to perceive the wonders of God, something of God's glory. And that's why it's a beautiful analogy. Have you heard of light pollution? So according to National Geographic, light pollution or artificial light at night is the excessive or poor use of artificial outdoor light. And it disrupts the natural patterns of wildlife, contributes to the increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, disrupts human sleep, and obscures the stars in the night sky. And again, it's a beautiful analogy because if we want to see the glory of God, we need to get away from all of this light pollution, all of these artificial lights that obscure the glory of God. We need to learn to recollect ourselves and in a sense, find a place of darkness, of, of emptiness, where we're in touch with the ache inside of us. And when we're, in, when we're away from all the lights of the world that distract us, it's in that place that we can see the wonders and the glory of God. And this, of course, can happen in someone's busy life. A mother can be working away, preparing a meal in the kitchen, but recollected enough. She's not maybe listening to, to the news or a TV program or talking on the phone. She's, she's in the zone. She's doing her duty. She's cut off from all the artificial lights. And in that place, she's experiencing God's glory. She's filled with God's glory, His holiness and His presence and it's awesome. And so may the Lord give you the grace to see his glory today. Viva Cristo Rey.